Governor Kevin Stitt on Tuesday directed state agencies to use narrow definitions of female and male in the latest attack on trans rights in the state that already has laws targeting bathroom use, health care and sports teams for transgender people. Stitt signed the executive order flanked by women from anti-trans group Independent Women's Voice, including Riley Gaines, a former University of Kentucky swimmer known for criticizing an NCAA decision allowing trans swimmer Leah Thomas to compete against her in a women's championship race. In addition to requiring state agencies and boards to define the words female and male to correspond with a person's sex assigned at birth, the executive order also includes definitions for the words man, boy, woman, girl, father, and mother. The order specifically defines a female as a person whose biological reproductive system is designed to produce ova, and a male is a person whose biological reproductive system is designed to fertilize the ova of a female. This executive order uh, is neither about rights nor is it about protecting women, said Nicole McAfee, executive director of Freedom Oklahoma, which supports the rights of trans people. She called it a thinly veiled attack that can codifies discrimination against transgender women and probably transgender men as well, because it's got definitions for all of them 